guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end because I am going to be announcing a um, contest, so the next giveaway for this upcoming week and how you can enter, but you have to watch until the end so you can get those details. So let's get started. On this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through five different outfits that I think are super cute and easy to throw together for the upcoming fall season. Um, so the first one that I have on here, um, this is just a poncho from Von Mar. Um, I have on some jeans, Massimo jeans that are actually from Target. Uh, some Tory Burch boots, riding boots, if you can see these here. Um, just a little tank top underneath it. And then there's a couple things that I would do to finish this look. So I would probably throw on um, a hat and a purse for this particular one um, is challenging. So you definitely, I'm gonna look and make sure that my hat's on right. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that the purse that you're using is suitable for a poncho. So obviously, you know, the sleeves are like this and the last thing you want is to put a, um, a shoulder bag on and for it to bunch up your entire um, sleeve of your poncho. So be cautious of that. Um, that's why I think a tote, like a shopper tote is the perfect bag for that, like this Louis Vuitton on the go. Um, so again, some kind of handle bag or a tote is gonna be perfect with a poncho. So this is look one. Um, the boots, the hat, the bag obviously could be interchangeable. I could put on some booties if I wanted, um, you could certainly kind of dress this up a little bit more, maybe a clutch and then, like I said, the booties and um, like a statement necklace. So it'd be a little more evening-ish. Um, so let's move on to look number two. Okay, so in look number two, um, I've just thrown on this kind of rust color um, side button sweater from Tahari. Still have the same jeans on in the same Tory Burch riding boots. Um, I, with this, you could still throw on a hat and I would carry a shoulder bag like this YSL um, puffer slouch bag here. And this would be great for going to the mall, um, just running errands, doing mom things, stuff like that. Um, but let me show you how we can switch this up and take these same pieces, swap them out with um, some different shoes and a clutch and give it more of an going out or evening look. Okay, so now um, just by changing out the jewelry, the purse and the shoes, um, you can see the look has gone more from day to night. So I have the Valentino rock stud kitten heels, the Louis Vuitton envelope clutch, um, and a Live and Viv by Urban Rhino necklace here um, that I have included with the, with the Tahari sweater and the jeans. So already have these on, be a great way to go or transition from day to night. So let's take a look at look number three. Okay, so on to look number three. And um, this is something that I would wear on well, sometimes to work, not these jeans, but and on my days off, I pretty much have two looks. Um, something like this, more relaxed but still cute. Um, some ankle boots, jeans, throw on like a little fitted sweatshirt or um, a flannel. Or my other look is full on, <laughs> full on glam. Leather pants, um, love leather pants, leather jackets, sparkly top, uh, fur not real fur, faux fur, um, sequins, the more glam, the better. So I'm kind of two extremes. Um, haven't gone into the sweatpants yet and I don't think I ever will, but, um, so let's go through this outfit. So we have nature denim jeans here. Um, the distressed throughout and the distressed hem. Um, again, you know, I'm a teacher, so I wouldn't wear these to school, obviously. Stuart Weitzman booties here. Super cute. I like these with like um, a little fall dress as well as the jeans. And then I have this Beatles graphic tee. Um, it's actually from Target and so is the flannel button up. Um, so obviously I could take off the button up, 
tie it um, around my waist if I wanted to. If I did that, I would probably untuck my shirt and kind of give a little bit of a different look. Um, you could also throw on a hat with this and it would be cute as well. Um, I think it would look cute. I have my sleeves rolled up, so you get the idea. Um, I think it would look super cute with um, some like white converse as well. So this is look three, and now we're gonna go a little dressier. Okay, so we have look number four here, and um, this is certainly dressier. There are a few things that you could do to um, kind of change it up so you could add a belt if you wanted to, like a waist belt. Um, you could certainly change the shoes and put on some booties. So if you wanted to go somewhere maybe that was outside and you didn't want to wear um, the open sandals like these Tory Burch ones that I have on, you could certainly change it out and put on some booties as well. You could lose the hat if you wanted. Um, with this, I would throw on this YSL Cassandra flat bag. And um, you can see I have like the bigger earrings here as well. Um, I also like the idea of like a longer pendant or a tassel necklace with this. That would be super cute. And let me kind of go through where these pieces are from. So I already mentioned Tory Burch on the shoes. Um, this dress I've had since 1949. <laughs> it's Exhilaration uh, from Target. Um, this is this little um, kind of duster, floral print duster is Audi. No idea where I got it. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember at all. Um, the YSL bag, the um, suede hat here is from Altered State. Um, so we have one more look that we're going to go through and I'm going to make a couple changes on it so you can see as well how some very small changes can make a big impact on your outfit. So let's go to look number five. Okay, so um, look number three, and I'm going to make, again, a few changes. This time I'm gonna go from kind of more dressy to a little more like business casual. So um, I have this uh, knit tank top, and this is just from Target. Um, I have some Vince leather pants, and these OMG booties, <laughs> these are, um, uh, Jimmy Choo slouched. These are Jimmy Choo ruched booties and they are my favorite. Um, so super cute. So, um, to add a little more. So if you were going out, you could throw on, I've got this, um, blazer here from Zara. Okay, to kind of finish it, I have this statement necklace, as you can see. Okay, so good to go. Um, with a purse for this, you could do um, a clutch, a handle bag. Um, I like the Dauphine Louis Vuitton, so I've got this. So still gives off a fall vibe, even though um, it is kind of more of a going out look. Um, so one last change, I'm going to change up the pants, the purse, the top, um, just a few changes though, and give you kind of a different final look. Okay, so now while this look might not necessarily scream fall, um, there are still some elements of it that I really feel like um, carry over well into the season. So um, this long pendant necklace has some fall colors in it. You might not be able to tell very well. Um, I kept the Zara blazers, just a white tank top, um, the tan Gucci belt. So just kind of that orange tan color, um, what, we, what we would refer to as like cognac. Sometimes they call it camel. Um, the wide leg pants that are making a comeback. Um, and again, the same Jimmy Choo ankle boots. So um, when I say that these pants are making a comeback, if you didn't know, um, fashion is generally on a 25 to 30 year cycle. That was something that I learned about when I studied fashion in college. And so things that you have now, if you hang on to them in 25 or 30 years, you'll see them coming back around. Um, so as a high school teacher, I see kids in school 
And it's so funny because some of the things that they are wearing, I remember wearing when I was young, when I was in middle school or, oh my gosh, that makes me so old. <laughs> but, um, so it's just, it's kind of, sometimes it's sad because the looks are hideous, but sometimes like these, um, that are my favorite, I am excited to see make a comeback. Um, so with this, I would also include a little pop of color. Um, so this uh, Chanel flat bag with the handle on it. So it's kind of a deep burgundy, again, a fall color, um, which would complete the look. Um, these wide leg pants, by the way, are just from Target. And I love that they have like a distressed hem on the bottom, like a wide hem that is um, super cute. So um, that is it for this tutorial. However, I mentioned a giveaway. So if you um, do the following three things, I'm going to be picking three winners um, to receive a $100 Target gift card mailed directly to you so you can get stocked up on some cute clothes for the fall. Um, so just make sure that you please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you already do. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And leave a comment below, um, maybe just telling me what kind of fashion video tips, tutorials, whatever that you would like to see in the future. So good luck to everyone. I will announce the winner next Thursday. Thanks for watching.